Oh my god, I've been waiting for this fight for so long. Just because I know if you are life, death, myth, or balance, you have the potential to win this super easily. I'm surprised my pet isn't popping off with all of these fucking overtimes. Come on, dude. Throw me out a fairy I don't need. Hey there, guys. Godly Seafood here. Back with another episode on the myth playthrough. So, it's been about... 15 days since I actually bothered to quest or do anything and the whole reason for that was because uh, I was planning on farming the Lost Pages event to try and get this robe called the Dragon Riders Vigilant Robe. It was kind of like a discount jade robe that had decent health, block, resist, and then also gave a pretty interesting item card that I really wanted but I also have an alternative for so it wasn't a break all type thing. But never got it, got a ton of gear, got nine bone dragon mounts over the course of six plus hour days farming for 14 days. And I'll probably farm a little bit tonight, but so far haven't gotten it. Decided to uh, buy some of the uh, gold keys because I found out that you can actually craft those, or sorry, you can actually farm for the jade rope, like the legitimate jade rope from the level 110 version of lore magus fight so yeah but anyway things that i've been wanting to craft but i you know just kind of wanted to wait until i was you know on a recording is these guys how much time does this have 12 hours oh geez i wanted to craft this right here and this right here so i have immediate port to the hatchery if i need a hatch and to the bazaar how many crafting slots do i actually have I've got a few. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that should be good. And then another thing I wanted to craft were my rings, baby. Look at that. 17 resists for life, myth, fire, death, and storm. Like, that's just going to be fucking great. And I can use that to do a whole bunch of things. I pressed the wrong button. But yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Yep, I'll have just enough slots to craft. But those are going to go great with my resist setups uh, for whenever I'm just farming and doing shit like that. Let me craft those and get those out of the way. I basically been uh, got got the treasure cards, made sure while I was farming to get everything that I needed just so I could craft those. And those are going to be basically permanently affixed to my inventory. Now, I cannot utilize them yet. However, I will get there eventually. For the most part, those are good. I don't think that I need this. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. I use this for uh, max pips on certain things. But yeah, if uh, you guys want to take a look at the uh, the mounts that I got. And nine of these damn things. And all I wanted was some bullshit discount jade robe that I never got. Uh, if I can go to... I'm actually going to try and make this main area a hub of sorts. So we can hang up our bizarre tapestry. Uh, I'll do that tapestry over there just because, you know, it's available. Walk over here, grab it, or go to my gardening house or my other house that I haven't really started on. It's kind of like storage for the moment. But I got this mentally spaced out sea lion or sea dragon pet that uh, just happened to drop. I guess that was one of his drops. And then, yeah, you can check out all my drops. I got one of every single type of hat. I got 11 hats total, 23 boots, one of every single type of boot. Uh, I was doing a farming run on the Spiral Cup Gauntlet with some guys that I was playing with, so that's how I got that. I got four robes, however, none of them turned out to be the Vigilant robe that I wanted, but I've got, at the very least, two of those. And I got the wand, so I, I literally got everything but what I wanted. And then these are some little stitch robes that I got from uh, doing the Spiral Cup Gauntlet. I actually started farming that first. And then I never heard back from that other dude who I was farming with. And so I was like, yeah, I'll go farm this dungeon. It'll be pretty easy. But anyway, back to the main story. Let's go fucking farm levels rather than dungeons. I can't remember why I was coming here. What did it say? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. So last, if I remember correctly... We were looking to basically uh, raise and jack one of the uh, 
one of the little dragonfly things. We're going to use it to drop Burmese fire on the honeycomb gate and destroy everything. So yeah, nice little five minute intro there. Oh yeah, that's right. Gotta turn that on. Boom, we're done. So, grab that. I guess that's... What? Mosquito larvae. larvae. Ick. Yeah, thank you, Grandmother Raven. I don't know. I, I guess I just eat mosquito larvae. Cool. Alright, so let's see. Dorian Bright Eyes. Discount Divum. I've got food for the worm... The dragonfly... I've got worms for the dragonfly thing. Ah, mosquito larvae. Of course. The baby looks hungry. Yeah, it was just hatched. Uh, it's a bit... Mm. Squicky, I know you spellbinders are made of stern stuff. <laughs> Would you mind uh, hand feeding her? Hand feeding? No, it's your responsibility. You carefully hold the mosquito larvae out to the baby dragonfly. She gobbles it down and asks for more. Once you finish feeding the dragonfly, she makes a contented humming sound at you. Yeah, thank you, narrator. Baby dragonfly is growing amazingly fast. She'll be ready soon. We're going to need barrels of Kermie's fire for the attack run. Why? Sneak around the mining camp and steal. Actually, never mind. That was a dumb Kermie's question. Fire. You know, it's never a bad idea to just start burning shit down for no reason. And last one. All right, dwarf and bright eyes. What next? You've gathered more than enough. Be careful. That stuff can explode with the slightest provocation. And I'm just running around with the fucking mountain, a satchel full of it. The dragonfly is all grown up. Amazing how fast they mature. Yeah, it's almost like it was canonically supposed to have been like five quests long, but I mean, I took a two week break, so whatever. We need to learn how to handle the Kermie's fire properly, so we can transport it without burning ourselves up. That wasn't an issue like five seconds ago when I went and got it. Grab some of the hundred leggers and see what advice they have about moving the volatile stuff. I guarantee you it'll be ugh. Cool. Uh, I called it. Fighting. You wish to know secret of Kermie's fires? Ask Captain Katarjaral. Right. So we talked to this guy. How much XP is this going to give? I don't know. So I'm just going to lock my level. I'm super close to level up. Oh, the stink of burrower fur. Fucking love this guy. You've been out on the front lines fighting burrower vermin? Get on you, spellbinder. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're readying the Kermie's fire for Warlord Cravenly's final push to drive the burrowers from the last wood. Oh, interesting. Oh, uh, what do you need? Move some Kermie's fire? You mix some Kaisiger powder into it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll stabilize. Oh, uh, the skyscrapers by the Milkweb Gate have tight control of the Kaisiger powder. I don't know how you'll convince them to give some up. Right. Of course, once stabilized, you'll need a fuse to light it. You knew that, right? Of course, yeah, sure. Thanks for definitely helping me not commit uh, sabotage and espionage and just other acts of terror. Uh, you can get fibers from the broken stumps to make a fuse, but they aren't too friendly. Stand your ground. Cool. Just gotta fight a ton of fucking people. Um... Yeah. And yeah, boom. Tree's dead. Everything dead. I'd be surprised if I didn't get it. There we go. Ooh, what is that? Is that just a regular accuracy jewel? It is. That's weird. I don't know why they're dropping level 75 jewels. Fucking level 90 plus world. But whatever. Um, let's see. I gotta go talk to this guy. Can't tell how much XP I'm gaining. Stink of Kaiselger powder. That rude. Make sure you mix the Kaiselger powder into the Kermie's fire. 
Then fasten the fuse to it and light it when you're ready. Yeah, thank you. What'd you say you wanted to, uh, do with the barrel of Kermes fire? Strap it to a dragonfly! What? Oh, 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 madness! <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Why am I telling you this? You're my enemy. I should not have told you. Make sure you tell Cravenly in the Banyan Tower, or they'll blow you out of the sky. Oh. That's good to know. They enhanced the weaponry in there after some fool let loose a bunch of dragonflies. Can't let the burrowers control the skies. Ah, shit. The consequences of my past actions coming to bite me in the ass. That sounds like something you should warn Dorian about. Better get back <laughs> to him right now. Yeah, for real. Hey, Dorian, watch out. You're about to get blasted out of the fucking sky. Oh, hey, it grew. That's the little baby one that was just right there. Kieselger powder to stabilize the Kermis fire and the fuse. No. It work, Spellbinder. Let's mix it up. It's Kiesliger powder, not Kiesliger. Oh my god, it's like they don't... I understand people read things differently, but just tell them how to pronounce it whenever they do dialogue lines and this shit won't be an issue. What's this about the Banyan Tower now? It's gonna blow you out of the fucking sky, dude. It'll be great. You're going to have to take control of the Banyan Tower so that the Dragonfly and I can take off safely. Yeah, sure. Can you take care of that while I attach the harness to the Dragonfly? Good luck, Spellbinder. Right. Uh, can I just what walk in here? Oh. Uh. What do you mean you don't know? Have you checked with the Digger drones today? They can tell you. <sighs> Was I supposed to say that? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. Thanks, dude. Um, are these the, the death ones? If so, that'll make my life a whole lot easier. Perfect. I don't remember this part of the story well, but I get bet the password's bullshit. What? Oh no, sorry. I was just clearing my throat. Today's password is Brundlefly. Brundlefly. I'm so glad that I didn't have to repeat that first one. What the fuck was that? Like a throat clearing exercise? That was weird. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. Raven Lee the Hunter. Let's see. Are you sure you're ready to tell me the password this time? Yeah, Brundleflies. Eat my nuts. Brundlefly? Yes, you got it. All right. Come inside. Why do you sound so sad that I got that? Also... Do I have a life ward? I'm gonna have to go check. Hold up. Alright, so... I don't have a life ward, Jade, so I'm gonna go see if I can craft that real quick. And I only have, like, two available crafting plots. So, I'm just gonna level up here real quick, and hopefully... Be able to craft that. That's one, two... Oh, yeah. Probably should have better prepared for this, but whatever. Uh, boom, level 96. Yay. Didn't change. I didn't change. Oh, wow, I'm like right there. Well, shit, that kind of throws a wrench in my plans. Hold up. All right, let's see here. So I need to craft these jewels. I also realized that I completely forgot to craft my hat, which is probably a good thing considering it has a 18 hour timer. So I'll craft that last after I get life ward. So let's see. I bought the recipe. I've got some stuff except for the snacks. <clears throat> like I was saying, I've got the drumsticks now. Uh, I get, just got 40 just because these take the same amount of stuff and I've only got 40 of these. So hopefully we get it. Is it five minute cooldown timer? Life proof. Not bad. Definitely no life ward. Uh, let's see. What am I at right now? 91 yeah honestly that that could work uh here let me just do this and for the immediate future our gulcher is now going to be our ward pet so i'm sadly i'm gonna have to break this sniper jewel but it's whatever put up 10 boom and i should be at 101 101 life resistance. That means he won't be able to crit on me unless he uses a pierce blade, which I don't believe that he does. So let's get back to that. Let me just lock my level because I'll be leveling up pretty fast here in a minute. 
at least I got something as far as life resist goes. I would have liked life ward just because far more valuable jewel. But hey, now I don't have to break a life ward in order to, you know, continue farming and questing whenever I get to ghost dog. So yeah, that's all right. Wait a minute. Okay. Who do you think you are? That was weird. They didn't have the dialogue loaded in. Cool. Um, that's the case. I don't really want to be... T well, it doesn't really matter, so... I think I'll just go with regular number one set. Throw this out there. And let's see. Where's my... Actually, supposed to be all the way back here. Throw that out there. I don't need the faint. And, yeah, I'll blaze through these pretty fast. Cool. These nerves are dealt with. Uh, what do you what do you have to say? Young wizard, this tower was built by the burrowers in the old times, but now it is a seat of Morgan's power. Yeah, obviously. Her forces use it to control the sky above and the land below. They dominate and torture the land. Yeah, I already knew that. Please get to the important part. You will find one of her pet warlords at the peak controlling the tower's armaments. He is called Cravenly the Hunter. Thank you. Born to Zafaria, he left as a cub and traveled throughout the spiral, stalking and killing the most dangerous game. Cravenly the Hunter waits for you. Oh, well, I got bad news. He's shit out of luck, dude. Once I find my gear set. There we go. God, that took fucking forever. So, pop the potion, 101 resist, life won't be that big of a deal. Let's see what we got. Lightbringer, you ascend to your oh, you motherfuckers. God damn it, I didn't know that there was another mob fight. Hold up. Alright, now it should be time. Although we are crushed, the Shadow Queen will have your head soon enough. Cravenly, the hunter awaits. Yeah, obviously. He was awaiting me last fucking fight when I thought I was going to be fighting somebody actually worth my goddamn time. Fuck's sake. Swear to God, this better not be another fucking mob fight. I just popped my second potion of the night. A wizard? The Shadow Queen warned me that a pet from Wizard City might come sniffing around my lair. Yeah. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that a familiar ratty face I Rude. see skulking about the Banyan Tower? Have you know my face looks exactly like every other male player model's face, save for customization <laughs> options. Cravenly, gut and skin the wizard, then bring me the pelt. When I first arrived, I said I wanted an ideal animal to hunt. It must have courage, cunning, and above all. It must be able to reason. What? But the burrowers are no match for me, nor the Umbra Legion. The Shadow Queen promised me the greatest of challenges. The spiral makes some people poets, some kings, some beggars. Me, the spiral made a hunter. You, a wizard. Let's see how you fare. Uh, you, you don't have the ability to beat me, dude. <laughs> All right. Oh, cool. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight. Let's fucking go. So, let me move some of this shit. Uh, yeah, I'll throw that in there. Two. Oh, wait. I already had two of those. Um, what amulet am I wearing? Amulet of my... Oh, that takes away my immunity. Okay. Fine. I can I can deal with just that. So, reface that, that, that. And for good measure, one reshuffle. Let's fucking do this. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this fight for so long. Just because I know if you are life, death, myth, or balance, you have the potential to win this super easily. If you're storm, fire, and ice, you'd have to do some finagling about. But anyway, this boss is, is kind of has a cheat where every round he'll like hit somebody with an overtime. And that fucks people up so much. Like imagine taking two to three hundred damage from a cheat every single round multiplied by however many ticks it gives 
Like, it stacks. It's crazy. I, however, knew for a fact that I was going to be going up against this guy, so I farmed Zeus for the Senator hat, Senator robe, Zeus boots, and got a double universal resist pet with life... Um... Uh, Ah, oh, fuck, what was it called? Uh, life proof. So, that plus my amulet of divine influence, which isn't a necessary. Like, I could have lost to resist and been at 99, and that would have been fine. Because I could have also had a life per, or life war jewel, and that would have just completely covered it. Actually, I think I would have been at like 103 at that point. So yeah, there are multiple ways to get around this fucking guy. And if you're life, you can... Well, actually, if you're any school, you can use the level 64 to 66, maybe 68 uh, gear that King's Isle introduced way back in the early days of Celestia to where you can basically just have a ton of life resist. I mean, you would, you would have no other hitting stats, so you'd have to figure out a means of attack like you'd have some life damage and stuff like that but aside from that you could go immune in this fight at any school if you knew which gear to get look at that four fucking overtimes doing nothing but for somebody with little to no resist it would be doing like three to 100 damage around with all of that plus and this is going to be more important for ghost dog my pet has the ability to cast Fairy and Unicorn, so even with his 50% pierce from Shadow Shrike, uh, my Zeus gear will give me outgoing healing. My Zeus boots, uh, if I look them up here, actually give 15% outgoing. My robe, not that much, so it's it's not really wasted on, you know, Cravenly, but my Zeus robe would give me 25 outgoing heal. It's fucking crazy. Like, I am in a pretty good position. Especially for Craven Lee. Craven Lee's a little bit more challenging because I do think that if his shadow stuff fucks with me too much, I can die. But I mean, I can also just throw up a an aura or something else. There, shield, literally something to reduce most of the damage rather than almost none of it, you know? But enough about that. Let's just enjoy the show, I guess. Five fucking overtimes. And not a single point of damage has been taken. This is my favorite thing to do. Like, I love bosses like this. And then in Darkmoor, everybody's got like 45 base pierce, so I just get fucked. But aside from that, I actually have a very interesting strategy for um, the Spirit of Darkmoor. Because I know that... That fight is probably the worst one, in my opinion. Because I can deal with Acting. I can deal with Shane Von Shane, both versions of him. I can deal with the fucking Howling Chaney and the guy who comes after him, Sir Blackwater. Yevgeny Night Creeper is not that difficult. But the Spirit of Darkmoor is probably the most difficult fight, in my opinion. Because there's so many cheats that can trigger her cheats. Or, there are so many things that can trigger her cheats, it's just not even fair. Like, in order to do damage, you're going to have to take damage, and you're going to have to kill her faster than she can kill you and your team. But, I've tested uh, a method before that is just super easy to beat her. Uh, let's see, 70, 80, 20. What my blaze look like? Don't I have, like, one more card, or no? Oh, I might have forgotten to uh, put a Sharpen in. And then you got this guy, right? He's just trying his best. Oh, wow. If you look at the little overtimes, you can just barely see the life symbol on it. They should make those go either slightly slower or allow some more visibility like that. Like, that's pretty cool. I like that. I don't know if I've ever noticed that or if that's more of a recent update. Uh, but I do have a, a treasure card faint, so let's fuck him up. Probably going to hit next round because I don't have any reason not to. Like, my extra blade is just kind of worthless. 
I can't die. He doesn't have the ability to kill me. So yeah. I'm surprised my pet isn't popping off with all of these fucking overtimes. Come on, dude. Throw me out a fairy I don't need. Uh, I'm going to switch to balance pips just in case I need to reshuffle because I forgot to do that earlier. And I'm just going to go for it. He's... As soon as he do finishes his attack and I take these three overtimes, he'll be dead. There is no issue. And sadly, you can't really, like... Uh, what, what do you call it? You can't really shield for him because of the overtimes. You could, in theory, you get as high resist as you possibly could, and then, I don't know, equip some life defense jewels the little square life ones i think you can get up to like 30 to 40 resist right now maybe or i don't know i don't ever use the resist square jewels i have played the wolf and now i must play the sheep yeah now it's time for me to gut you and take your hide the best sport in the spiral though perhaps not for the prey Think you're so clever, little wizard. I am. Finley was nothing more than a popped up alley cat, but he drew you out. Not really. He was more of like a mandatory obstacle to continue on with my plan to fuck you over. I know what you're up to now, and soon enough, I'll have the pleasure of watching you bleed. Uh, and when when will that be? Wizard, you should smash this pillar of mystical fire. Blind the eye of Morgan, so she cannot see what you are about. She already knows I'm here. This, she doesn't need to know what I'm about. What I'm about is stopping her. She already knows that. Don't you dare! Curse you, you painted pony! Painted pony. Also, that's not... It's not fire. It's like... Bubbles, I guess. I don't know. You have done well, as the council knew you would. Take heart. We are sending you our brightest thoughts, and we'll help as we can. Fuck you. You assholes don't ever do anything. Now that Morgant has seen you with her own eye, the land will grow colder, and the battles more fierce. The first part, not so much. The second part, yes. Be on guard, young wizard, and be on your way. Cool. So, as you can see, I got a ton of XP. I can level up here in a minute, but I'm going to go talk to Dorian first. Boom. Easy win. Uh, put on my experience, or sorry, my pet stuff. Energy stuff. Fantastically well done, Spellbinder. With the Banyan Tower lost to them, we can take advantage of the skies. Good to know. Now that I won't get shot out of the sky, I'm ready to prepare for the attack run. I'll fly this girl up to the last woods. Go to Elazar Fireblade at Pepper Grass Nook. And we'll finalize our plan from there. Cool. So, I'm going to go plant some stuff and then I'll get back to that. Alright, so now that my hatch or my crafting timer is back up, I can actually craft this awesome hat. And what this will allow me to do is, instead of having 20 life resist and 20 death resist and some hitting stats, I'll have 22, which is nice. The more resist, the better. So I can actually retire my Senator's Crown and have this really cool bug hat. Really cool. And these are, honestly, I could have gotten the one... Oh wait, I did. I got the triple one. Nice. Uh, I think there's a second variant, or maybe that's only for Balance. I think Balance actually has the option between Life, Death, and Myth, and Storm, Fire, and Ice for two separate hats plus Balance, balance hitting stats. So yeah, this thing right here way better than this one you get more health you lose seven percent power pip but i mean you gain two resists more crit you actually gain crit keep the same amount of uh accuracy and gain one more damage it's not not too bad as far as the tactical hat plus it looks kind of cool i got a ponytail made from what i can only assume was a mantis's or a mantis scalp or something like that uh i'm actually going to Craft the death ones now to see if I can get a death ward. Got a death sniper. That'll come in handy. 
But anyway, let's get back to the quest line. Because I gotta talk to Elzar Fireblade and see if we can start the raid on the apiary, I think. I am pleased to see you and Dorian both safe after such a perilous journey. I'm glad to see you still look like a, sh a green shiny Pokemon. I'll send a message to Device Fritzky in Queen Myrtletown. They can distract the forces in Camp Havoc while we strike the apiary. Yeah, let's do it. Spellbinder, can you scatter the flames? Oh my and god. Burn to give Dorian a clear path to approach. What? Those th only one of those things flies and it doesn't even matter. They don't fly that far up. Once that's done, drop this flare into an ember pit to signal Dorian bright eyes. Okay, that part makes a little bit of sense, but I mean, come on. I can just walk around them. They haven't troubled me until I've troubled them. Dorian will then swoop in on his dragonfly for his attack run on the honeycomb wall. And be the main inspiration as to why Fire got that really cool bombing spell in uh, Darkmoor. Finally, meet Alwyn Woodward on the field. He'll be leading the ground troops. We will need your help with the Queen Brood Mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, I'm like super close to getting shadow stuff, I think. All right, squash the bugs. Got... Fucking fooled by the bugs. I'm just gonna flee. Fuck these guys. God damn it. Alright, let's, let's fucking try this again. Almost. Oh, and I almost immediately get pulled through just my stupidity. I could have swore I was out of the way, but I guess being right here isn't good enough. Fuck you, stupid digger drones. Calling in a goddamn airstrike. You toss the flare into the ember pit. It ignites and rockets up as a signal to Dorian Bright Eyes. That did not rocket up. That puffed up smoke. If, it, if if the camera does not pan up, it didn't go up. And now for one of the best cutscenes in Wiz. Also one of the only cutscenes in Wiz. Look at that fucking yeah! peril of Kermie's fire just bugging out. I don't know why they needed that whole convoluted plan. I'm pretty sure a little bit of fire magic could have done the same thing. And also, we are our character, the people of what world is this? Chrysalis. No one will ever do that again. I love the smell of Kermie's fire in the morning. It's not the morning, it's late at night, dude. Like fucking 924 what a first blow you have orchestrated a great day for the burrowers and all those who believe we can stand against the shadow this is only like the second most important thing thing that will happen in this world the honeycomb wall has fallen it is time to storm the apiary once more unto the breach dear friend once more oh my god i hate how the dialogue just doesn't sound fluid at all like, have that recorded in, like, an entire paragraph so that the pacing and just the overall tone of your voice doesn't sound like you're going from really, you know, subtle to way too fucking high. The blast of war blows in our ears, and it is time to imitate the action of the deer, the tarantula hawk, the tigron. The fuck? Charge into the apiary and help us take down the royal guards. They will lead us to the queen brood mother. Well, I'm always down for overthrowing a monarch for shits and giggles. Let's go. Then it falls on you to do Oh, Queen god Brood damn you. Mother. If she falls, we will win this battle of bees. Why can't I just go to the brood mother? You're already gonna have multiple different forces fighting these fucking guys. Look at that. They're already fighting. Two two steps in. And then I gotta go fucking fight the royal guard. Goddamn pricks. Um, do I have any cleanse charms? do not i'm gonna have to grab some before i fight these guys so before i go into those fights i went to go grab some cleanse charms but uh one thing i wanted to point out is that there is a level 95 wand called the under umbra legion spike let me see if i can find it here that typically you would get from a merchant in bastion or the silent market after you know some story stuff however uh it's right here and just to put it into perspective, you lose one damage compared to the Sky Iron Hosta, but you gain a little bit of crit and block. Like, universal block and universal crit, which is just pretty good overall. That's that's a fair trade for one damage. And you get power pips, still fire damage, so, you know, fuck you fire wizards, I guess. Can't ever have a 
plus 10 damage one that isn't your school but whatever uh so yeah i'm just gonna waste all my money and buy this because this is basically an upgraded skyiron hosta with some stats moved around pretty cool okay i was told the brood mother in the fucking chamber let's do it i don't i don't think this is the last time i have to fight her i think there's gonna be like one or two more times what the fuck that's weird could have swore she was like up there you know let's see Hey, why are you guys always got a hiss? Just, just speak. You do not understand what you're dealing with, do you? Yeah, one I ugly bitch. The perfect organism. Uh... Structural perfection is matched only by my hostility. You know, not a very becoming trait. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I used none of the cleanse charms that I. That I brought, so um, yeah, just save those for later. I just relied solely on my my pet for that. I have oh cool, I can feed him. Ten, ten, ten. Dude, we'll do the nines. And he ate all of it. Okay. This goes to show how utterly useless pet snacks are. Like that was a whole stack of something, and there's it's just gone. Uh. This fight isn't in interesting. She just summons minions randomly. They'll fuck you up. That's about it. All right. So uh, apparently I'm just an idiot. This is like the easy version of this fight because later on you have to fight her again, but then she summons minions and Morgan comes in and fucks with her. Basically, this is like a, a regular boss fight. Uh, didn't get any debuffs, which is nice. I got that going. Let me change the balance real quick triple fainted item card treasure card uh i don't actually know what else i use three yeah it was the item card i don't know it was the item card regular potent and then regular spell card and i did not use my treasure card which i probably should have but it's whatever See how much this does. If she doesn't block, I should be good. Oh yeah, it's fine. What? Where? Please, Spellbinder, let us speak beneath the sky. Uh huh. Why not in here when there's a skylight? Um, where the hell is she? Oh, she just fucking goes up the ramp why all right whatever i guess that's that's cool i'll just assume you ran away for the first like 12 seconds before i remembered where the hell you went by the celestial moon my compound eyes are finally clear what has the shadow queen done to me <laughs> made you fucking hideous dude your neck looks like uh the wiener from zorg from Yu -Gi -Oh. or zord whatever the fuck his name is me with this form twisting me into a dark reflection of what I once was in the old times what you once was all right I have lived in anger and fever and hunger for generations a ceaseless nightmare please spellbinder can you help me uh I mean sounds like I'm gonna fucking have to the curse can be lifted, and some good brought back to the land, if you can restore my true image. Okay. Using the moon's crown. Yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, the moon's crown is a crystalless artifact that of, like, moon magic. That went missing hundreds of years ago, like centuries ago. The moon's crown is a potent relic, carved from an arcane crystal at the top of the eclipse tower. Zoltana may know how to find it. Why don't we just go to the Arcane Tower and, you know, take part of the crystal from there? Do not take too long, Spellbinder, or the shadows will come again, and my nightmare will begin anew. And then I'll have to fight you again, yeah, sure. 
kind of allude to that. All right, Sebastian, PI. Uh, fuck, are you? You, quest. Spellbinder, I have heard distressing reports from both Tyrion Gorge and the Apiary. What news do you bring? <laughs> fuck me, I don't know. I was on vacation, dude. It's been two weeks. The Shadow Queen have not suffered setbacks like these in generations. Well, not here, at the center of her power, at any rate. How have the burrowers been able to do so much in so little time? You have heard rumors of a spy in the Umber Legion? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's Cornelius or some shit. Who would risk so much for so little hope, hmm? It raises the question, why are you here? Uh, totally unrelated. I'm looking for a powerful artifact that could potentially fuck up Morgan's plans, but don't worry about that, I'm... I'm on your side. The moon's crown. Hmm. The ancient seer, Tymon Whiteflame, who dwells in Bastion, might know. Hmm. But take care. He is often thorny. Fuck, I forgot about this guy. This guy. He gives me nightmares. Um, so yeah, this guy's a piece of shit. Seriously, he'll fucking mana burn you every two seconds. So, personally, I want to make sure that... I go first in the fight, but also I've got to set up my deck here in a second. I'll show this fight. This fight is kind of annoying at times. Uh, I think I'll do myth. What you got? What you got? Where? Where is he? Oh, there he is. So fucking far away the npc hadn't even fucking loaded yet that's great all right moon tier or uh moon crown whatever it is For you to disturb my contemplations what my work is vital i am searching for rot at the core of bastion yeah that's me also look at his face he looks like a spaced out dog that's just mentally not there his tongue's drooping out you can kind of see it right there Kind of weird. There is a spy working against the Shadow Queen. Have you heard the name Cornelius? Is this you? Look, I don't like to talk about my past, and that was a previous stripper name. Let's move on. No, I don't think so. You are too young, too fresh. But I'll gut you and read my answers in your entrails. Not gonna lie. Kinda weird. I'm gonna kill you now. And yeah, he summons two guards. Look at that. Um. All right. Let me just re revamp my deck setup real quick. What do I got? Definitely want four of those. Um. I could do that. I need to kill the minions first, and then I can. Deal with that, dude. Uh, he doesn't debuff me, so I can pack some utility stuff elsewhere. Dude, I'll go for a fucking suicide minion. Let's go. Uh,. I don't want pierces coming up in my deck, though. Doo -doo -doo. I will put some wand hits in. Some of those. I don't have an aura, but I also don't want to get reliquary because it just sucks. You get some of that, one of those. What else do I need? You know, honestly, having a fairy might not be a bad idea. Uh, let me look at my stats. Is that the best my accuracy can get right now? Or my resistance? Nine versus nothing else. Okay, what about this one? Twelve. Oh, yeah, I don't think my universal resist can go up that high. Six, but I lose a blade. Honestly, that's fine. I get something better. I probably have something better. I just don't want to use it. Uh, 
yeah, I think I'm going to go grab a different hat real quick. Okay, so as far as my card setup goes, basically just going to do all of this. I don't really feel like faints are going to be super important as compared to making sure I don't die. So got some of that. I might actually throw some steel warts in there too since I got some. I don't know why I have them, but I do. Uh, this Athena is going to help me just kind of stay alive whenever I'm biding my time. I'm actually going to throw some of those in there as well. And to top it off, Fixity Hood gives accuracy and resist, which I like. So I don't have to sacrifice on either or gain additional pips, which I don't need considering I'm already currently at 100%. So yeah. And then let's see. So 47 universal resist, pretty good. 90 damage, not bad. Accuracy, 54. So it's about the same. Yeah, I think uh, I think this will be fine. I don't really need an extra faint, so I am going to go for a little bit more health and a little bit more, uh, uh, what do you call it, crit and stuff like that. And I'm going to go regen my health before I start the fight, and hopefully I'll go first. All right, so let's do this. Let's see. If I go last, I'm just going to auto log out, just go quit. I like the fact that that minion didn't join the fight. So I don't think I need this. I'm going to work on life pips. And just kind of blade up for now. My first, The first thing I want to do super fast is to throw out an Orthrus and kill the minions just straight up. I like the fact that that one minion just didn't bother to join the fight, which is great. Uh, one thing to note is that anytime you actually flee this fight and then come back, the minions will always respawn. Uh, and they'll be like right next to the dude, so you won't get quite as lucky as I did with the, the minions leaving. I guess that's only perfect. I guess it's only for whenever they like just straight up don't or whenever they straight up first spawn in. I don't know why that is, but it is. What is it? This guy, though, he's going to mana burn me next round or the round after. I think it's next round, but that's why I wanted to pull my Orthrus so that I can hit, kill him, be done with it. Everything will be good. Let's see, let's see. Boom. Well, I got some Athenas coming up. That's perfect. So. What's going to be more important? Heal or hit? I think hit is going to be more important. So I'm just going to do that. And boom. Mana burn. Would have lost all my pips there if I hadn't hit. I've had trouble in the, with this guy in the past. Just because I've gone in here blind and totally gotten screwed. So. Yeah, I'm I'm not uh, not going to lose to this guy this time, hopefully. And he didn't shield early on, which is great. 7k damage right off the start. Both minions dead first three rounds. This is looking pretty good. I got some steel wards if I really need them. I'm stunned. Not my favorite, but whatever. I shouldn't have any pips after this, so I should be relatively fine. Like, I don't know why it still shows me having pips, but it should go away and give me a myth pip or something. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm going to work on blading. I'm going to keep that. Keep Yeah, you know, I'll keep this. Hopefully pull an enchant. I might go for an Orthrus, but I would really, really much rather prefer getting something like an enchant for my Athena so I can hit into a shield. That would be fantastic. I don't need that. I'm going to get rid of one Athena. Throw that on life. Oh no, I'm trying to play this fight very cautiously just because I've gotten fucked up by this guy and I don't like him because of it. Does this give him an aura? Or a, or a fucking global? I hope not. I don't know, these are one of the fights where it's very weird. You have a very limited amount of time to get stuff done between his cheats. So that you can clap his cheeks. 
Um, I think I've got a hit now. Or not. I don't know. Let me see. Probably gonna... Yeah. Yeah, you remove my pips, which is fine. I'm just gonna heal up. Throw up a shield and then throw up an Athena. That way I can be double shielded. Is that a stun? What? Why? Why would you do that to me, old man? What's wrong with you? Uh, Sacrificing damage for survivability right now. That's one. Don't you dare fucking steal my ward, you bug-eyed son of a bitch. Actually, I'm not doing too bad. Let's see. I don't remember what this was. I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, shit, I forgot to change my pips. All right, so we'll do that. Just kind of see where we're at next round. He's definitely going to hit me next round, I think, or the round after. So it really depends on what I'm capable of. He's going, he's building pips, which is not the best. Uh... They stackable? They are. Yeah, I'll go for a hit. Yep, there go my pips. Like, you can barely get past eight, maybe seven pips. But, I can shield myself with this lovely, lovely spell. This spell used to be way better before they nerfed it to where you have to use, uh, what is it, myth pips or some shit. I don't know. I don't. I don't like that aspect of the arch mastery system. So, suicide minion is not going to be highly valuable. Then we double shield into a blade, into a hit, and that might kill him if I hit crit through. If not, we shall see. Oh. Great, he used the fucking overtime. You suck. Alright, well that's fine. Um what do I got? Boom. 4K. Can I hit 4K with just one blade? Probably not, but I'm also about to get hit. So I might as well risk it. He didn't shield, he's got minus 15%, lasts for two rounds. That guy's not really important. Um, I don't really need those anymore. Get rid of that. Can I get a faint? I will definitely like throw out a faint into a hit. Got a steel ward if I need it. Yeah. Okay, it looks like I'm definitely going to win the fight. Assuming I don't get screwed up. What is this? Blade? Nice. So what do I get? Boom. Two of those. Uh, Might as well throw this out there. I almost never use these because... I don't know. I feel like they're super useless unless it's like the 40% damage outgoing one. Where you're going to do damage up front and you need that soon. Otherwise, it just sits in your hand and you're like, oh, man, I can't wait till I have to use this. But I also can't pull my cards because I have, I'm, you know, half my deck is locked up. Uh, That's worthless. Yeah, it should definitely kill. Assuming he doesn't crit block. If he does, I'll probably be fine. One of the only times I get to use the spell now. Whenever I know I'm going to need some amount of protection. You know, this, this guy got me down to half health. That's like with his cheat and how this fight typically goes. Like that could have been bad. Because you can't really like faint stack him without just taking so much damage. The moon's crown. It was lost at the end of the old times. Right after the fall of Bastion. Right. A brazen young burrower named Alyssa Stargazer hurt Morganth 
and fled with the moon's crown to Tyrian Gorge. Or how? Alyssa Stargazer hid in the winter halo caverns, an ancient cave once home to epic power. Perhaps she disturbed something in those fathomless depths, for neither she nor the moon's crown was ever seen again. Cool. To the halo caverns or whatnot. All right, Zoltana. I know where to go. I don't know why I'm coming to talk to you. What knowledge did Time and White Flame have to share? A spy in Bastion? Yeah, I already knew about that. You already, I already told you about that too. You shouldn't be too worried. Something to discuss at greater length another time. What did you learn about the Moon's Crown? Lost in the Winter Halo Caverns. Hmm. I do not know Tyrion Gorge that well. You need an expert in local geography. Go to Tyrion Gorge and seek out Captain Kator Jarral at the mining camp. Tell him I told him to help you. Tell him you told him to help me? Alright. Fuck it, whatever. The Tyrion Gorge. Is there anything else I need to do? Probably go craft another jewel. I'm currently trying to craft a death proof, or sorry, death ward onyx, so that's something I gotta do at some point. Alright, this guy again. I'm probably gonna have to do some bullshit quest for him before I start, like, get to this dungeon. Oh, you stink like an ancient moth's ear. Don't you ever bathe? What is up with your sense of smell? Why are you bothering me? We're recovering from several dastardly burrower attacks. Probably the work of this Cornelius. Oh yeah, what do you know about Cornelius? Zoltana said I was to help you. Help you do what? Find the moon's crown in the winter halo caverns? Ah, yeah, that's, that's it. Exactly. Oh, a fool's tale. But search if you want. The caverns lie near the milkweb gate. Uh, they're infested, though, with winter scorpions. What? Alright, cool, whatever. Uh, to the winters... Whatever, I, I don't even fucking know what I'm doing here anymore. Also, it just dawned on me. The, uh, the teleporter here is actually for Tyrion Gorge rather than Fort Rakius, which confused me for a very long time because they both have, like, the same picture of Fort Rakius or some shit. God damn you. Hold up. That, that is annoying. Gonna have to flee and come back, aren't I? Nice. What, do they just go in two different circles? Fuck you guys. Uh, so yeah, this one's pretty easy dungeon. Pretty interesting. Somebody just took a crown left and got themselves killed. Spoilers, but... I mean, this, this storyline's been out for years, so... Can't really call spoilers on that. Let's see, what do we got going on down here? In the deep, dark caverns of Avalon? Question mark? Basically. Can I... I trigger the dialogue? No. No, just just go go defeat the Winter Scorpion. All right. Well, I'll do that. Boom! Easy kill. Like two blades and a Northrus. So what I got here? In the staff. Of the cavern, you see a mystical staff that looks like it was made by a burrower. Yeah. Thank you. Also, why can't we ever have cool weapons like this? As you examine it, you sense a tiny spark of magic remains. Suddenly it flares up, summoning a ghost to stand before you. Who are you that finds me after what? so very, very long? Are you the Shadow Queen? Do not hurt me, please. Oh, bullshit. Do I look like the Shadow... Hold up. You're not holding the staff that's on the ground. What the fuck is up, dude? No. The venomous stride has come. That's... Look at this shit. Look at this bullshit, King's Isle. What What is this? Th she's holding a magical staff that looks nothing like this magical staff. And yet you, you put the model of the staff in the fucking game. What is going on? This is bullshit. You see this right here? This minus 25% that would have completely screwed me from being able to hit next round. That is why I got a cleanse ward or a 
Plains Charm Pet. So I can do this. Cast a blade, remove the negative, and hit next round because fuck it. Seriously, this is the best pet talent in the game, in my opinion. Like, almost every fight you play, or every fight you have in the later games is just gonna have debuff spams or shit like that. For, like, in general, like, you're gonna have to deal with debuffs, so might as well have a pet that deals with that. And may casts are unreliable at best, so will casts are the way to go. Yay, I'll kill them all. Let's go. Don't I have to fight a boss? I see now. You are an agent of light. An arrow aimed at the heart of shadow. You seek the moon's crown. Yeah. It's still here. Oh, cool. Where is it? The moon's crown is the key to the eclipse tower. Once a place of pure moon magic. Before it was corrupted by shadow. Okay. Again, getting back to my question. Where is the moon's crown? I stole the moon's crown and fled here. But I was weak and alone and could not fend off the winter scorpions. And so my spirit remains. Cool. Again, back to the question. Where is the moon's crown? The moon's crown is a prize of the baleful empress. If you overcome her, my spirit will fly free on the winds of change. Yeah, cool. So again, back to my question. Where the fuck is it? Like, who is the Baleful Queen? Why can't you just tell me, oh, hey, up ahead, evil boss, boom. Am I exiting the dungeon? Oh, okay. I was so confused. I was like, what the fuck is going on? What warm blood enters my home? A Baleful Sword Empress. Light, a spellbinder? You will provide a great feast for my children. Did you need to specify who the feast was going to be for? Also, look at that. She's got herself a little tiara with multiple little dots. That's cool. Um, still going to die, but whatever. Uh, do, do, do. Probably just a couple of those will be fine. Shouldn't have to worry about too much. Pop a potion because I was almost at half health. Nice thing. Um, gotta watch out for Stormlord stuns. Uh, Leviathan and maybe Raw, but even then, that's that's not going to be a big of an issue. So, fuck it. You know what the best part about having fifty six accuracy is knowing that a minus fifty percent accuracy debuff isn't going to do shit when you blade. Just like that, and that's the baleful empress down. She say anything or no? All right. Talked a big game and then it just wasn't sh jack shit at the end. All right. You have recovered the moon's crown. Hmm. There is a chip in the crown. A precious stone is missing. Oh no. How could it have gone missing when you were down here with it for ages and just sitting there on the floor, collecting dust? It's weird. Still, with this in hand. You are well on your way to driving back the shadow. Thank you, Spellbinder, for freeing me. Fuck you. King Sal could have given me a legitimate lore reason to just learn how to utilize moon magics. Like I could have done in Celestia, or Azteca, or literally any other world that has to do with moon magic. Could have just implement implemented that with the idea of me being max level crafter, and then boom. There's a reason for you to no moon magic and have to craft the crown, but nope. Just gonna have to go after some dumb piece of shit crown. And then have some other crafter fix it. Fuck you guys. Whoa! Steak of scorpion venom. Again with that keen sense of smell. Oh, you found the moon's crown, huh? Part is chipped? Oh, I wouldn't worry. You can barely notice it. I'm sure it'll do just fine. No, it won't. Take it back to Zoltana and Bastion. And you tell her to find out who this... Cornelius is. These spies cannot be tolerated. Yeah, it's like I'm talking to a wet paper bag, you're fucking idiot. Whatever. Thanks for the help. That was the wrong button. Hey, Zoltana, tell me about this crown. Does it look good? Probably not. I'll need to go on a quest to find a crafter who can fix it. Alright. Spellbinder, 
You have recovered the moon's crown? Hmm. Your deeds are quite remarkable. Yeah, it's crazy. You think I were a legendary wizard or something, but whatever. I'm sure the Shadow Queen will take particular notice of you soon, if that is your wish. Kator told you to investigate the spy Cornelius? I would not worry about that. I do not think such a person exists. You didn't pause to make it pretty obvious that you were Cornelius. You were given the script, but you didn't execute the line right there. There has long been a rumor of a fifth column within the Umbra Legion, working against the Shadow Queen. Alright, but before that, I'm going to need you to explain to me the history of the other four, or why it's this group is named the Fifth Column. This treasonous group supposedly believes in a different reading of the Shadow Queen's Grand Prophecy, but this is heresy. What is the Grand Prophecy? I feel like Morganth might have brought it up once or twice, but nobody's ever called it the Grand Prophecy up until now. I don't think, unless I've just completely missed that, multiple different playthroughs listening to the dialogue. Any who claimed such a thing would face unimaginable punishment if they were to be caught. Who would dare? I know, right? Completely throw the blame off yourself. I mean, uh, any of us. But to matters at hand, who sent you after the moon's crown? The brood mother. How curious. Take it back to her at once. Okay, I guess that means Zoltana believes, or any Umber Legion commander like Zoltana would assume the brood mother outranks them, I guess. I mean, technically they're supposed to be on the same side, so yeah. All right, let's see what this queen's got to say, and then I think I'm going to bounce. What you got? Spellbinder. I struggle to keep my thoughts my own. Do you have the moon's crown? Technically, yes. I have been a buzz since you left, barely able to contain my emotions. I fear the Shadow Queen's wrath, but I cannot live like this. Yeah, I wouldn't want to live with a face like that either. Or a fucking neck like that either. Jesus Christ. Do you have the moon's crown? I see it is broken and missing a gem. Still has much magic within it. Bring the moon's crown into the royal queen's chamber and let us see if we can master its use. Why? This is just another reason to have me go into the same exact dungeon that's down there, but with an updated version of the boss. So, fuck that. I'm gonna go do literally anything else and get back to this tomorrow. No, I keep pissing.